What's up guys, my name is ESO and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install an ENB in Skyrim Special Edition. Everything you need will be linked down below in the description for you guys to find and use easily. And this is going to be a step by step tutorial that works the exact same for any ENB that you choose to use. And if you guys are liking what you see in the gameplay in the background right now, you can also download our whole mod list for Skyrim Special Edition as well. It's a lore friendly mod list that doesn't turn dragons into Thomas the Tank Engine. But we've also created another step by step installation tutorial for that as well. So even if you're new to modding, you can still follow it. That's basically the idea of that guide. And again, that tutorial is linked below. But for those of you that don't know, an ENB is basically a graphical overhaul that massively improves the appearance of the game. The gameplay you're seeing right now is using the Ultimate Immersion ENB. And as you guys can see in the background from the before and after footage, it makes your game look like this. And with the addition of this ENB, Skyrim's going to look a lot more vibrant and there's a lot more depth to the color palette here. Yeah, it's not over the top or oversaturated, it still feels very lore friendly. And if anything, just makes the game look more immersive and realistic. In many ways, adding lots of atmospheric lighting effects and also god rays, which usually are not available on ENBs at all. It's also going to improve the lighting effects indoors as well, making everything just seem a little bit more cozy, considering the candles now give off their own light source. But now, let's get started on the ENB tutorial. And the first thing we need to download is EMB series, which you can find a link to this website down below in the description. Now, there are different versions and it's constantly being updated, but currently we're using version 3.65. Obviously, if you come here and there's an even earlier version, then you're going to want to download the latest version. But for now, click on the latest version and then we're going to go down here on the bottom left and press download and that's gonna download for us. The next thing we need to download is the Ultimate Immersion Special Edition ENB, which you can find a link to down below, and that's gonna take you to the website. And there's actually some panels here, so you can see before and after, so you can like play around with this and have a look. Okay, it actually changes the game quite a lot, especially the depth of field there. And you can also see indoors and outdoors has such a huge difference there. But right at the bottom of the page here, you're going to find the download button for the ENB. So we're going to press that. And then we're going to download the main file. You will always find the updated version here, guys. If you want the older versions, they're going to be down here. But currently, this is the most up-to-date version and it's just been released. You also may want to consider some of the optional files here, like if you're using some of the fire spell enhancements, it can make the effects quite bright if you're using it with an ENB. So there's basically like patches and fixes here, depending on what your mod list is. But currently you don't need to worry about this. So currently we have ENB series and the ENB itself, but these are compressed files, so we can't actually access them. In order to access them, we need to download another program called WinRAR. So to download WinRAR, follow the link in the description, it will take you to this website here. Now depending on your operating system, you either want the 32-bit version, which is just here, or the 64-bit version, which is just here. I need the 64-bit version, so I'm going to go ahead and download that. Now it does say that WinRAR is a trial version, but it's not actually a trial version, it's a free program and for some reason the trial never runs out, so you never have to pay for this, just download it and you can literally leave it on your computer and use it forever. But it's absolutely necessary if you want to use mods in Skyrim. So we're going to download the WinRAR version here, and as you can see, <laughs> excuse me, that's going to start downloading. Now we're going to click on it and open it up. And we're going to install it. So we're going to say yes, I would like to install it and say install. And now it's going to show you the files that it's going to affect like zip files and basically the different compressed files that it will affect on your computer. And you're just going to press OK to this, leave it on the default options and it will install. I've already got it installed, so I don't need to do that. So now we're going to go back to the files we downloaded earlier, the Ultimate Immersion ENB and ENB series. We're going to right click on EMB series just here, and now there's an option to extract 
the files and we're going to want to extract here so press that and as you can see it gives us something called the wrapper version and we're going to click on this and it's going to take us here now we only need emb series enb local d3d compiler d3d11 and emb series as well that's the only files we need so we're going to right click and go copy and now we're going to head over to steam and we're going to find skyrim special edition in our steam library we're going to right click that and we're going to go to properties and now we're going to go to local files this tab just here and then we're going to browse local files and that's going to bring up our skyrim data file basically so we can see what's inside here now we're going to right click here and we're going to go paste and as you can see it's copied emb series and all those emb files into here so we've successfully installed enb series into skyrim but now we need to install the enb as well so now guys we're going to go back to the ultimate immersion enb that we downloaded earlier and if you guys want you can delete the wrapper version and this as well because we've already copied it and we don't need it anymore so go back to the ultimate immersion enb and we're going to extract it now and as you can see it gives us enb series enb local and enb series again so we're going to copy these files this time copy that and then we're going to go back to the skyrim data file again and we're going to paste this in and it's going to say do you want to replace these files and we're going to say yes and it's going to replace those and now we've done it we've installed the enb completely so now what we need to do is start skyrim so let's play skyrim preparing to launch play game so as soon as the game loads you're going to see on the top left corner there emb series 0.365 or whatever version you have and then you know it's worked you know the emb is installed you also see there's a slight you know different color there on the sigil of skyrim but there you go we've in installed the enb so let's jump into the game and have a look at it here we are look at how beautiful the game looks Let's head on inside the tavern so we can actually have a look, you know, what the indoor lighting looks like. As you can see, the game looks very impressive. we got those 4K sign textures as well. Hell yeah. Look at this lighting. I love it, guys. It looks amazing. Oh, God, please don't sing. Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding... What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Oh No, please. I am the fiercest Khajiit you will ever see. Last mistake. Last mistake. You don't even know where I am. Get wrecked. To be fair, free sneak attack. She was pretty tanky, wasn't she? But now she is one barbecue Nord. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this EMB tutorial. Of course, you can download a whole mod list as well. I'll link to the tutorial for that down below in the description and i also do mod review videos as well so if there's like you're not so sure which mods you want or you want something specific go and check out those because i always review some interesting sort of hidden mods as well that you guys might want to check out but um if you enjoyed the video please give the video a like and you can also subscribe if you want to see more mod content on skyrim but thank you very much for watching me eso and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye